If you're currently using iMovie to video edit on your computer, I want to share with you one tip to make sure you are not making this mistake when you are exporting your videos and causing you unnecessary headache. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey everyone, I'm Shelly. This is Shelly Saves the Day. On this channel, we do YouTube Explained Simply and video editing made easy. If that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Would love to have you be part of the online family. I also wanna make sure I give a special shout out to all of my channel members. You guys, thank you so much for your continued support. And if you are a platinum level member, you also get on-screen mention in every single video. So thank you so much to TubeBuddy for being a member. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into iMovie and I am going to show you when you are exporting how to avoid one big mistake that might be causing you undue headache, stress, and costing you hard drive space. So let's get into it right now. So here I am in an iMovie project. Anyone who's in my iMovie Made Easy course, by the way, out now, you get all of these cool clips and you would be editing this final project would look very familiar to you. If you wanna check that out, make sure you check out the down bar for more information on that. So if you are in a current iMovie project, such as this one, we're gonna go up to the export button. It should be very familiar with you all the way over on the right hand side, upper right hand. So let's go over there and bring up the export option. So here you're going to see email, YouTube, Facebook, save current frame and export file. So some of you, if you didn't know, you can also click email and it will then compress and shrink your video and change the resolution to try and make it as small as possible. This is good if you are trying to email. Keep in mind some email services are going to have limits on how big of files you can send. So you may end up having to do something instead like some sort of workaround or putting it up in the cloud instead so that people can download it. But all of these options do exist. Keep in mind that the smaller the video resolution is, then of course the quality is not going to look as good, but the file size will be significantly smaller. So you can see it's going to go from 261 megabytes all the way down to only 11 megabytes, okay? But this is not what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go to the export. And here, honestly, you can do an export to YouTube or Facebook. I never do this, I prefer to export the entire video first, have the copy on my hard drive, and then I decide when I upload it to those services. Make sure that everything is set correct on private before I end up making a video public. And even though this option exists, I don't really do it very often. So I'm not gonna show you that one right there, but it is possible. Save current frame I use all the time if there is a great still frame and I wanna use that potentially for a thumbnail. Uh, I will do that a lot. So I will usually do 30 seconds of the thumbnail faces and then find a frame that I like and export each of those and use them as options for my thumbnail. This is what we're gonna talk about though. This is the export file. And so as you know, these are the options that come up. So two things I really want you to pay attention to, depending on your file footage, of course you wanna try and have the resolution be as high as possible. So mine was 1080, so I'm gonna keep it in 1080 under quality. Now, this may seem counterintuitive, but for a lot of people, what you're probably selecting is this best pro res. And now here is something really interesting. So it's currently on high, but I want you to notice how large the file size is. It's 701 megabytes. Now you can also see this is significantly larger than what was on the largest setting of email. So each time and each situation, they're choosing a different compression level and a different codex. So it's best to kind of decide what it is you're going to do and then use the best type that you can. Now, here is where the caveat comes in. Under the quality, you have this best pro res. Now, if you're doing your export in iMovie, you probably think I need to have the highest resolution, the best quality. And here is the difference though. Take a look at the file size. It goes from 701 megabytes to 5.16 gigabytes. Truthfully, you do not need best pro res when you are uploading your video to YouTube or Facebook. First of all, if you're going to Facebook, Facebook has a resolution. It will usually downgrade it to 720 anyway. So also, giving them a file that's five gigs is also going to eat up your data and it's going to take forever to upload. Now you could try and run it through something like Handbrake. If you've never seen that, it's a kind of a compression uh, software and it's freeware. If you want a video on that, drop a comment, we can get into that. But honestly, I'm going to say right now for almost all of your projects that are going to go on YouTube or Facebook, select 
high. You're going to see it is significantly smaller as a file size than the other one, which means that it's going to upload faster and be able to be processed faster once it's up on YouTube. And people are not going to be able to tell the difference between the file that was 700 megabytes and the file that is five gigs. So I really hope that this was helpful for you to understand how different sizes and how it can affect your upload quality and your time needed to upload. We don't talk about it a lot. We talk a lot about editing. We don't always talk about how to export properly. And I really just want to save you time when it comes to being able to export to a file that still looks good, that is small enough, that is going to be uploaded quickly and be able to be processed quickly. So I hope that that was clear enough to understand. If you have questions on it, make sure you drop them down below and I will try my best to answer as many as I can. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like this video while you're watching it, I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Would love to have you be part of the online fam. I will see you guys next week for another video and don't forget on Thursdays we are doing live chats and video streaming where we're talking either about YouTube, video editing, or live streaming. So come check that out Thursdays 5.30 at uh, PST time, 5.30 p.m. to 6.30. So I will see you on Thursday for another episode of Triple T, which is the name of the show, and on Sunday for another new video. Thanks, guys. Bye.